So you're studying for the SAT Math Level 2 Subject Test. You've come to the right place. I'm Dan from WeWillTeachYouMath.com. Guys, when you're using these videos to study, make sure you pause the video at the beginning when the problem first comes on the screen and try it on your own. Most of your practice should be done this way, actively and independently. Then, if after you try the problem on your own, you still find it tricky, that's when you watch the video explanation. In fact, you can use any resources that you have available to you to try to figure it out so that the next time a similar problem comes your way, you'll be ready. Enjoy, and thanks for watching. 16, given the set of data, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, which one of the following statements is true? And the statements are comparing the mean, median, and mode, if we can determine the relationship, which one of these relationships will hold. So looking at that set of data, we need to know the mean, median, and mode, or at least how they relate to one another in terms of what's less and what's greater. Uh, right away we see there's three twos, so there's no other number that has as many points that are the same, so that's going to be the mode. Mode is two, that jumps out right away. Uh, regarding the median, the data is already in order, so we just have to pick out the middle number but we have an even number of numbers, right? We have eight data points, so the median when you have an even number of data points is the average of the two middle points but fortunately for us the two middle points are the same they're both two so the median is also two the median and mode are the same and now we have the mean the mean is the average so you can just add them all up and divide by eight in your calculator or another way you can do it if you want to just be kinda of clever you can say hey you got three twos in the middle so the average if you just if the only thing in the data set were the twos the average would be two of course right now lower than two you have a couple of ones pulling the average down but then you have a couple of threes pulling it up and the threes pull it up just as much as the ones pull it down so the average is still two but then there's this four and there's nothing to counteract that on the low end so this four is the only thing that's unbalanced that's gonna pull the average up higher than two so without even calculating exactly what the mean is we know it's greater than two so the best choice is C because the mean is greater than or equal to the mode of 2, which is equal to the median. It can be greater than or equal to, right? So, so C fits. None of the others fit because none of the others have the mean as being the largest. Hi, thanks for watching. If anything's still confusing or you need a little extra help, drop me an email, leave a comment, or give me a call. I answer every message. And if you want to check out more videos like this, visit wewillteachyoumath.com. See you in the next video.